Greetings, friends, and welcome. Our Lord tells us in Isaiah 45, 11, I make well known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. When you have been faithfully praying to God and seeking His will for your life, take heart. There may be signs all around you that confirm He is preparing the way and working things out behind the scenes. In this video, we will explore some clues from Scripture that indicate God is answering your prayers and readying you for what you've asked of Him. We ask that you support this channel and its mission to spread encouraging messages of hope from the Bible. Please hit the like button, and if you aren't already, consider subscribing so you don't miss upcoming episodes. With God's help, this can be an uplifting experience for all who view it. May our gracious Father continue guiding your steps and blessing your path as you trust in His perfect timing. Number 1. Dear friends, when you find your heart growing in compassion and empathy for others, it may be a sign that God is preparing you for the answer to your prayers. He could be molding your character and perspective to align with His purposes. God often uses the waiting period to do a deep work in our hearts. As you pray fervently for your breakthrough, pay attention to how He may be transforming you in the process. An increased sensitivity to the pain and struggles of those around you is evidence of God's handiwork. In Romans 5, 3, 5 it says, We also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Your current trials are producing greater depths of perseverance, character, and hope within you. As you persevere in prayer, Allow any disappointment or discouragement you feel to soften your heart towards others who are hurting. Reflect on how God has comforted you in your own affliction and consider how you can extend that same comfort to someone else. 2 Corinthians 1, 3, 4 Growing in compassion is essential to becoming more Christ-like. Jesus was deeply moved by the suffering of others and always stopped to help those in need, whether it was healing the sick, raising the dead, or ministering to the brokenhearted. He had compassion on the harassed and helpless, seeing them as sheep without a shepherd. Matthew 9.36 God wants to give you His heart for people. He is expanding your ability to see them through His eyes. Where you once may have passed by someone's pain, you will be quicker to notice and move to help. Your answered prayer will likely involve serving and loving others in a greater capacity than before. As you partner with God in ministering to people, you will find your faith strengthened. 1 John 3.17 says, If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? When you give to others from the overflow of what God has given you, it demonstrates your trust in His provision. Developing a heart of compassion not only prepares you for your breakthrough, but it keeps your heart in the right posture to steward the answer to your prayer well. When you stay others-focused rather than self-focused, you remain humble and surrendered to God's plan. So take heart as you wait for your prayers to be answered. The increased compassion and empathy you feel is a sign that God is at work in you. He is preparing you to love and serve others more deeply. Press into His presence, allowing Him to fill you afresh with His love and perspective. In due time, you will see the fruit of your perseverance. Number 2. My brothers and sisters, when you've been faithfully praying for something, it can be disheartening when it seems like your prayers are going unanswered. However, even in the midst of unexpected delays, God is working behind the scenes to prepare you for what you've been seeking. These delays, while frustrating, are often a crucial part of His divine plan. One reason for these delays is that God may be protecting you from unseen dangers. Perhaps the path you thought was best would have led you into harm's way, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually. God, in His infinite wisdom and love, places obstacles in your path to redirect you towards a safer route. Just as a loving father would steer his child away from a busy street, God's delays can be a manifestation of His protective hand in your life. Additionally, God may be using this waiting period to equip you with the necessary skills and character traits needed for the fulfillment of your prayers. Consider the story of David in the Bible. 
Before he became king, David spent years tending sheep, facing giants, and running for his life. Each of these experiences, though difficult, prepared him to be a wise and courageous leader. Similarly, God may be using your current circumstances to mold you into the person you need to be to handle the blessings He has in store. Another reason for unexpected delays is that God is aligning the timing for maximum impact. He sees the bigger picture and knows precisely when your answered prayer will have the greatest effect on your life and the lives of those around you. Just as a farmer waits for the optimal time to plant and harvest, God is orchestrating events so that His blessings in your life will yield the most fruitful results. In the face of these delays, it's crucial to trust in God's perfect timing. His ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Isaiah 55, 8, 9 What may seem like a setback to us is often a setup for God to display His glory and power in our lives. By surrendering our timeline to Him, we open ourselves up to receive the fullness of His blessings. Moreover, these waiting periods can be opportunities for tremendous growth. Just as a caterpillar must spend time in a cocoon before emerging as a beautiful butterfly, the delays in our lives can be a time of transformation. Use this season to deepen your relationship with God, to cultivate patience, and to build your faith. As you trust in His plan and timing, you'll find yourself growing in ways you never thought possible. In conclusion, if you're experiencing unexpected delays in your life, take heart. God is preparing you for what you've been praying for. Embrace this season as a time of protection, preparation, and perfect timing. Trust that God is working all things together for your good, Romans 8:28, and that His delays are not denials. As you wait upon the Lord, you will renew your strength, mount up with wings like eagles, run and not be weary, walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Rest assured that God's plans for you are good, and at the appointed time, your prayers will be answered in ways that exceed your wildest expectations. Number three, God works in mysterious ways, and sometimes the answers to our prayers come in the form of supernatural coincidences that confirm His direction for our lives. These God incidences are more than just random occurrences. They are divinely orchestrated events that align perfectly to guide us towards what we've been praying for. One way God may prepare you for what you've been seeking is through repetition of a specific message from multiple sources. You might hear the same sermon or teaching from different pastors or churches, even when attending services in various locations. Friends, family members, or even strangers may share insights or experiences that directly speak to your situation, offering encouragement and confirmation that God is working behind the scenes. Another sign of God's preparation is unexpected provision related to your prayers. This could manifest as financial blessings that come from surprising sources, just when you need them most. It might be a job opportunity that perfectly aligns with your skills and passions, even if you hadn't actively sought it out. These provisions are God's way of showing you that He has heard your prayers and is making a way for you to step into His plan. Sometimes God will bring people into your life who speak wisdom and truth that directly addresses your circumstances. These individuals may not know the details of your prayers, but their words will resonate deeply within your spirit, offering clarity and confirmation. It could be a chance encounter with a stranger who shares a powerful testimony that parallels your own journey, or a mentor who provides guidance that unlocks new understanding and direction. As you navigate these supernatural coincidences, pay attention to the peace that surpasses understanding. When God is preparing you for what you've been praying for, you will experience a deep sense of assurance, even in the midst of uncertainty. Trust the process and have faith that God is orchestrating every detail of your life according to His perfect plan. Remember, God's timing is always perfect. He may not answer your prayers in the way you expect or on the timeline you desire, but He is always working for your good and His glory. Embrace the journey and trust that every supernatural coincidence is a reminder of His faithfulness and love for you. As you continue to pray and seek God's will, be encouraged by the evidence of His hand at work in your life. 
Keep your eyes open for the God incidences that confirm His direction and provision. Hold fast to the promises found in His Word, knowing that He who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. In the end, the greatest confirmation that God is preparing you for what you've been praying for is the transformation that takes place within your own heart. As you draw closer to Him and align your will with His, you will find yourself equipped and empowered to step into the very things you've been seeking. Trust the process, embrace the journey, and watch as God unfolds His perfect plan for your life. Number 4. Dear friend, if you've been faithfully praying and seeking God's will, yet find yourself in a season of waiting, take heart. God is working behind the scenes, preparing you for the very things you've been asking Him for. One powerful sign of this preparation is a growing sense of boldness and courage within you. As you draw closer to God and align your heart with His purposes, you may notice a newfound strength rising up inside, where once you might have shrunk back from challenges or remained silent in the face of adversity. You now feel compelled to step out in faith and speak the truth in love. This holy boldness is not a product of your own making, but rather a gift from the Holy Spirit. As you surrender your fears and doubts to God, He fills you with the courage needed to embrace His plan for your life. You may find yourself willing to take risks you never would have considered before, knowing that God is with you every step of the way. Perhaps you've been praying for a new career opportunity or a chance to serve in ministry. As God prepares you for these answered prayers, He will give you the boldness to network, apply for positions, or volunteer your time and talents. You'll have the courage to step out of your comfort zone and into the unknown, trusting that God's hand is guiding you. Or maybe you've been asking God to use you to make a difference in your community or to share the gospel with those who don't know Him. As God prepares you for this calling, you may feel a growing urgency to speak up for truth and justice, even in the face of opposition. You'll have the courage to initiate conversations about faith, to invite others to church, or to stand up for biblical values in your sphere of influence. This increased boldness and courage is not about becoming aggressive or insensitive to others. Rather, it's about allowing God's love and truth to flow through you in a way that brings light to the darkness and hope to the hurting. It's about being a vessel for His grace and compassion, even when the world around you may not understand or appreciate your message. As you experience this growing boldness and courage, remember that it is a sign of God's preparation for the very things you've been praying for. He is equipping you with the spiritual strength and resilience needed to walk out your destiny and fulfill His purposes for your life. So take courage, dear friend. Don't be afraid to step out in faith and embrace the boldness God is cultivating within you. Trust that He is preparing you for great things and that His timing is perfect. Keep seeking His face, surrendering your plans to His will, and watch as He opens doors and brings your prayers to fruition in ways beyond your wildest dreams. Remember, the same God who parted the Red Sea, who shut the mouths of lions, and who raised Jesus from the dead lives within you. With Him, all things are possible. So let your growing boldness and courage be a testament to His faithfulness and a sign that He is indeed preparing you for what you've been praying for. Number 5. As you faithfully pray and seek God's will for your life, one powerful sign that He is preparing you for what you've been asking for is a heightened sense of spiritual discernment. This sharpened discernment is a gift from the Holy Spirit, enabling you to navigate the path ahead with wisdom and clarity. When God is getting ready to answer your prayers and lead you into the next chapter of your journey, He equips you with a keen ability to distinguish between truth and deception. You may find yourself more sensitive to the gentle promptings and nudges of the Holy Spirit, recognizing His voice with greater ease. This increased sensitivity allows you to tune out the noise of the world and tune into the whispers of God, ensuring that you remain aligned with His perfect plan. With this heightened discernment, you'll be able to make wise decisions that honor God and propel you forward in faith. You'll have a supernatural ability to discern people's true intentions, avoiding pitfalls and relationships that could hinder your progress. 
the Holy Spirit will give you insight into situations that may seem confusing or unclear, providing you with the understanding needed to take bold steps in the right direction. As you grow in discernment, you'll develop a deeper sense of trust in God's guidance. You'll find yourself more attuned to His Word, recognizing how Scripture speaks directly to your circumstances. The truth of God's promises will resonate within your spirit, giving you unwavering confidence that He is leading you towards the fulfillment of your prayers. This heightened discernment is not just for your own benefit, but also for the blessing of others. As you step into what you've been praying for, you'll be equipped to offer wisdom and counsel to those around you. Your words, flowing from a place of spiritual sensitivity, will carry the power to encourage, heal, and redirect others towards God's purposes. Remember, the sharpening of your spiritual discernment is a process. As you continue to seek God through prayer, worship, and the study of His Word, your ability to discern His voice and His will for your life will grow stronger each day. Embrace this gift with gratitude, knowing that it is a sign of God's loving preparation for the incredible things He has in store for you. Trust in the Lord's timing and have faith that as He refines your discernment, he is orchestrating every detail of your life to bring about His perfect plan. Stay committed to the path He has set before you, even when it feels challenging, knowing that His grace is sufficient and His strength is made perfect in your weakness. As you walk in a heightened discernment, you can have full assurance that God is preparing you for what you've been praying for. He is equipping you with the spiritual tools and wisdom needed to step into your destiny with boldness and unwavering faith. Keep your heart open to His leading and watch in awe as He unfolds the beautiful story He has written for your life. Number six, God is always listening to your prayers. And even when it seems like nothing is happening, He is working behind the scenes to prepare you for the blessings and answers you've been seeking. One of the most powerful ways God can demonstrate His love and faithfulness is through the restoration of broken relationships. If you've been praying for healing and reconciliation in your relationships, whether with family members, friends, or colleagues, God may be preparing you for a breakthrough. He understands the pain and heartache that comes from strained or severed connections, and He desires to bring wholeness and unity to your life. As you continue to pray and trust in God's timing, you may start to notice small changes in your relationships. Perhaps a family member reaches out unexpectedly, or a friend you haven't spoken to in years suddenly contacts you. These seemingly small gestures can be signs that God is softening hearts and paving the way for reconciliation. It's important to remember that restoration is a process, and it may not happen overnight. God may be working on you and the other person simultaneously, healing past hurts, and preparing you both for a renewed relationship. Trust that God's timing is perfect and that He will bring the right people back into your life at the right time. As you wait for God to answer your prayers, focus on your own spiritual growth and healing. Allow God to work in your heart, teaching you forgiveness, compassion, and understanding. When you are rooted in God's love and grace, you'll be better equipped to extend that same love and grace to others, even those who have hurt you in the past. Remember that restored relationships can play a significant role in your future and in fulfilling God's plan for your life. The people God brings back into your life may be the very ones who will support, encourage, and stand by you as you step into your God-given destiny. They may offer wisdom, resources, or simply be a listening ear when you need it most. In addition, the restoration of relationships can be a powerful testimony to others of God's love and transformative power. As people see the healing and reconciliation in your life, they may be drawn to know more about the God you serve. Your story of restoration can bring hope and inspiration to those who are struggling in their own relationships. As you continue to pray and trust in God's plan, remember that He is a God of restoration and redemption. He can take the broken pieces of your relationships and create something beautiful and new. Keep your eyes fixed on Him and trust that He is preparing you for the answers and blessings you've been praying for, including the restoration of your most cherished relationships. Number 7. 
As you continue to pray fervently and seek God's will for your life, you may notice a profound change in your heart, a growing sense of humility. This is a clear indication that God is preparing you for the very things you've been praying for. When we first embark on our journey of faith, it's easy to approach prayer with a sense of entitlement or pride. We may believe that our own efforts, righteousness, or merits will somehow obligate God to answer our prayers in the way we desire. However, as we draw closer to God and He begins to work in our hearts, we start to realize that every blessing, every answered prayer, is a result of His grace alone. This realization of our own inadequacy and God's all-sufficiency is a crucial step in our spiritual growth. It's a sign that God is molding us into the vessels He wants us to be, vessels that are ready to receive and steward the blessings He has in store for us. As God cultivates this deeper sense of humility within you, you'll find yourself increasingly in awe of His goodness and mercy. You'll begin to see that even the challenges and delays you faced in your prayer journey have been opportunities for God to shape your character and align your will with His. This growing humility will also prepare you for the responsibilities that come with answered prayers. When God blesses us, it's not just for our own benefit, but for the benefit of those around us. A humble heart recognizes this and is ready to use God's blessings to serve others and advance His kingdom. Moreover, humility keeps us grounded in the truth that our relationship with God is not transactional. We don't pray to get something from God, but to grow closer to Him. As your prayers are answered, this humble perspective will ensure that your focus remains on the giver, not just the gifts. So, if you find yourself becoming more aware of your own limitations and more amazed by God's grace, take heart. This is a powerful sign that God is preparing you for what you've been praying for. He is shaping you into a person who is ready to receive His blessings with a humble, grateful heart and use them for His glory. As the Bible says in James 4.10, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Trust that as you humble yourself before God, He is working behind the scenes to bring about the answers to your prayers in His perfect timing and in His perfect way. Keep praying, keep trusting, and keep growing in humility. Your breakthrough is on the horizon. Number 8. In the midst of life's challenges and uncertainties, you may find yourself filled with an unexplainable joy that flows from your deep intimacy with God. This profound sense of joy serves as a powerful source of strength, enabling you to persevere through even the toughest trials and maintain a positive perspective despite the obstacles you face. When you have been faithfully praying for something dear to your heart, God hears your prayers and begins to work behind the scenes to prepare you for the answer He has in store. One of the clearest signs that God is actively preparing you is the presence of this unexplainable joy in your life. This joy is not dependent on your circumstances or the outcome of your prayers. Rather, it springs from your unwavering trust in God's goodness, faithfulness, and love for you. As you draw closer to Him through prayer, worship, and meditation on His Word, you cultivate a deep intimacy with your Heavenly Father. This intimacy becomes the wellspring from which joy flows freely into your life. In the Bible, we see numerous examples of individuals who experienced unexplainable joy in the midst of their trials. Consider the Apostle Paul who wrote in Philippians 4, 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Paul penned these words while imprisoned, facing an uncertain future. Yet his joy remained unshakable because it was rooted in his relationship with Christ. Similarly, when you find yourself filled with unexplainable joy, even in the face of adversity, it is a clear indication that God is at work in your life. He is strengthening your faith, molding your character, and preparing you to receive the answer to your prayers in his perfect timing. This joy is not a fleeting emotion, but a lasting spiritual fruit that emerges from your connection with God. As Galatians 5, 23 reminds us, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When you are yielding to the Holy Spirit and allowing Him to work in your life, joy becomes a natural outflow of your spiritual growth. Moreover, the unexplainable joy you experience 
serves as a foretaste of the greater joy that awaits you when your prayers are answered. It is a glimpse of the abundant life God has in store for you, a life filled with purpose, fulfillment, and blessings beyond measure. As you continue to pray and trust in God's plan, let this unexplainable joy be a source of encouragement and strength. Embrace it as a sign that God is indeed preparing you for what you've been praying for. Hold fast to the promise found in Romans 8.28, which assures us that, in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. In the waiting, let your joy be a testament to the goodness and faithfulness of God. Allow it to overflow from your life, touching the lives of others and pointing them to the hope found in Christ. As you radiate this unexplainable joy, you will find yourself being transformed from the inside out, becoming more like Christ and reflecting His light to a world in need. Remember, the unexplainable joy you experience in the midst of your trials is a precious gift from God. It is a sign that He is with you, working in your life, and preparing you for the incredible plans He has in store. Trust in His timing, lean into His presence, and let your joy be a beacon of hope as you anticipate the amazing ways God will answer your prayers and fulfill His purposes in your life. Number 9. Throughout the Bible, we see numerous examples of how God communicates with His children through dreams, visions, and revelations. These supernatural experiences serve as powerful tools in God's hands to provide guidance, encouragement, and insight into His plans for our lives. When you've been faithfully praying for something, and suddenly you start experiencing vivid dreams or receiving revelations, it could be a clear sign that God is preparing you for what you've been seeking. Dreams are a fascinating way in which God chooses to speak to us. In the Old Testament, we read about Joseph, who was given dreams that foretold his future role in saving his family and the nation of Egypt from famine. Similarly, God used dreams to guide and protect Mary and Joseph as they navigated the early years of Jesus' life. These examples demonstrate that when God gives us a dream, it often carries significant meaning and purpose. Visions and revelations are another means by which God communicates His plans and purposes. The Apostle Paul writes about his experience of being caught up to the third heaven, where he received revelations that were too sacred to be uttered. In the book of Acts, we read about Peter's vision of the sheet filled with unclean animals, which God used to teach him about the inclusion of the Gentiles in his plan of salvation. These instances highlight the power of visions and revelations in conveying divine messages that can transform our understanding and direction in life. If you've been earnestly praying for something and suddenly start experiencing dreams, visions, or revelations related to your prayers, pay close attention. God may be using these supernatural encounters to provide you with the answers, guidance, or confirmation you've been seeking. It's essential to approach these experiences with a discerning heart and seek godly counsel to help interpret their meaning and application. One practical step you can take is to keep a journal of your dreams, visions, and revelations. Write down every detail you can remember, including symbols, colors, emotions, and any specific messages or instructions you receive. As you document these experiences, pray for wisdom and understanding. Ask the Holy Spirit to illuminate the significance of these encounters and how they relate to what you've been praying for. It's also crucial to test these experiences against the truth of God's Word. The Bible is our ultimate authority, and any dream, vision, or revelation that contradicts Scripture should be discarded. God's messages will always align with His character and the principles outlined in His Word. By comparing your experiences with biblical truth, you can gain confidence in discerning whether they are indeed from God. As you navigate these divine encounters, remember that God's timing is perfect. He may be preparing you for what you've been praying for, but it may not unfold in the way or time frame you expect. Trust in His sovereignty and goodness, knowing that He is working behind the scenes to bring about His purposes in your life. Continue to seek Him through prayer, worship, and the study of His Word, and be open to the ways He chooses to communicate with you. In conclusion, divine dreams and revelations can be powerful signs 
that God is preparing you for what you've been praying for. By paying attention to these supernatural encounters, documenting them, seeking godly counsel, and testing them against the truth of God's Word, you can gain insight into God's plans and purposes for your life. Trust in His faithfulness and timing, knowing that He is working all things together for your good and His glory. Number 10. Dear friends, as you walk faithfully with the Lord and persistently bring your prayers before Him, you may start to notice subtle changes in your heart and actions that indicate God is preparing you for the blessings and answers you've been seeking. One of these signs is an increased spirit of generosity and a heightened sense of stewardship over the resources God has entrusted to you. You may find yourself more inclined to give freely and cheerfully, recognizing that everything you have is ultimately a gift from God. This could manifest as a stronger desire to tithe faithfully, giving the first 10% of your income back to God as an act of worship and trust. You may feel a greater conviction to support your local church and its ministries, knowing that your contributions are helping to advance the kingdom of God in your community and beyond. Additionally, you may sense a growing burden to support other kingdom causes close to God's heart. This could include giving to missions organizations, sponsoring children in need, or contributing to relief efforts for those affected by poverty or disasters. As you obey these promptings to give, you demonstrate your willingness to be a conduit of God's blessings and a faithful steward of His resources. Moreover, increased generosity isn't limited to financial giving. You may also feel led to use your talents, skills, and time to bless others. This could involve volunteering at your church, mentoring someone younger in the faith, or using your professional abilities to assist those in need. By stewarding your gifts and talents for God's glory, you show that you are ready to handle the greater responsibilities and opportunities that often accompany answered prayers. As you experience this shift towards increased generosity and stewardship, recognize it as a sign that God is preparing your heart to receive and manage the abundance He has in store for you. He is shaping your character and priorities to align with His will, ensuring that when your prayers are answered, you will use the blessings not for selfish gain, but to further His kingdom purposes. Remember that God is more concerned with your spiritual growth and maturity than simply granting your requests. By nurturing a generous and stewardship-minded spirit within you, He is equipping you to handle the answers to your prayers with wisdom, humility, and a steadfast commitment to His glory. Trust in the Lord's perfect timing and sovereign plan as you continue to pray and wait expectantly. Embrace the opportunities to give and serve knowing that each act of obedience is a step closer to the fulfillment of God's promises in your life. As you faithfully steward what He has already given you, you demonstrate your readiness to receive the greater blessings He has in store. Take heart in the knowledge that God is at work behind the scenes, preparing you and orchestrating circumstances for the manifestation of His answers to your prayers. Stay committed to a lifestyle of generosity and wise stewardship, and watch as God unfolds His perfect plan in your life, bringing glory to His name and blessing others through your obedience. God hears all of our prayers and knows what is in our hearts. Have faith that He answers prayers in His perfect timing, which may not always align with our timing. The signs you are experiencing could very well be indicators that God is preparing the way for your prayers to be answered. Remember the words of Isaiah 30, 21, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Stay close to God and keep walking in faith. He will guide your path. Please support this video and channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing with others who may also find encouragement. With God's help and blessing, more inspiring messages can be created and spread to lift up those who are waiting on the Lord. May His will be done in all things.